Hello again, a new day, a new toy. And finally, I got my hands on DS203 from Miniware, from www.minidso.com. That's an original device, aluminum case. It's looking very solid, sturdy. I love the feel of this guy. Four channels, two analog A and B and two digital uh, C and D. Mini USB out, a battery included. What else about this little guy? It's based on ARM Cortex-M3. Like I said, four channels, 72 mega samples per second. Also can go up to 144 if you configure to single channel from uh, sys version v1.31 anyway i don't care about that for now signal generator to a lot of triggering option easy waveform storage firmware and upgrade user application and most important it's open the original software i didn't like it too much so if it's an open uh, source i've been looking for a better variant of this uh, better software firmware and I found Wildcat V5.6 and because my device is kind of old and this is Hatch V2.6.0 I have to use Wildcat V5.6 well here here is everything you need to do all the files the single point is that you have to compile yourself the files it's not so hard but uh, if you don't want to waste your time doing that, you're gonna have a link with both version uh, 5.6 uh, and version 6.5 for later devices. We have a different hardware, of course. Okay, here we have all the, all the numbers about, about uh, vertical scale to 20 millivolts, vertical resolution 8, vertical resolution 8 bit, coupling AC DC maximum input uh, 80 volts it comes with a, a probe with 10x what's nice about the wildcat version it's double clicking the play button here auto counting or auto sensor or anyway And this is a very very nice way to do the things you don't have to scroll for time for voltages and try to have the best image possible this is a great improvement with wildcat versus the original software and also we have a really nice big display here showing a very accurate frequency counter down here you see and then we have the rms voltages and the we have the DC voltage and so many other things. Uh, we can, we can toggle with this. We can even have a better display with much more information here, or the big one, or nothing at all. Well, I don't want to get into much technical stuffs. As you can see, I have the DSO one three eight Pro here from FNIRC, and. Uh, This also I have auto, but you see, we are on 250 kilohertz, a kind of square, and it's struggling to get it. But this guy, no problem. It's not exactly squared, but uh, it's absolutely okay. 250 kilohertz look the frequency is very accurate 500 kilohertz you see the frequency goes exactly to the number and now with one megahertz it starts developing a kind of uh, rms low voltage and of course 2000 even worse so i may say you can bet on this not more than 1000 kilohertz but that's more than enough. I'm using it mostly for audio stuffs. All right. Here we go. 153. 
And finally, this little guy can do that. 153, it's still readable for FNIRC 138 Pro. And here we have uh, the FFT function and uh, also a map function. You know, there are so many new stuffs here that uh, I really don't know what is this about. Uh, I have to, I have to really study this guy. So here we have this spectrum. It's a kind of spectrum analyzer. Spectrograph. And then the map mode. It's displaying normal oscilloscope waveform as a change in color. Each frame has a single horizontal line. Oh my God. So it's a lot of things to do here. And uh, this is a spectrum, spectrograph. Now we are, let's change the frequency here. Very interesting. And here we have the FFT. Should I go to channel D? No. Here I have the FFT for channel B, but I have to go to channel A. Yes, there we go. And here we have some peak frequencies we have up there. 1.631 megahertz probably is this one and this is very interesting like i said before you know it's 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 kind of crazy lots of nice stuffs okay let me change the frequency here let's go down to 10,000 Hertz. We are in the Audio spectrum already. 5,000, 1,000. This is nuts. And you can see very clear the harmonics of the signal. 500 kilohertz now. But like I said, I'm still learning this guy. But anyway, if you have something like this, I really encourage you to have a Wildcat software on it. In the description, you have links to the software firmware. It's already compiled, so you don't have to bother. You just have to put it inside here and do the magic. It's very easy because this one turns to a uh, to a memory card when you press play and start now this one turns to a DFU virtual USB disk just copy the files and you are implementing the new firmware something interesting there is also an alternative software this is the uh, somehow it's the old one in another slot it's still okay it's still usable, but of course we don't have auto settings. Everything here should be manual. And I also observed a lack of uh, frequency here. Here we have a problem with reading the frequency. And uh, I've been trying different combination. Okay. Let's go to auto and here we go M maybe i should get up there and have a lower voltage yeah. yes we can get the waveform but let me see we still don't have the frequency reading so wildcat is doing a great job about that just double click and you are in the business look there beautiful 
Okay, I'll be back with some other information. You know, I'm still learning this guy. I'm still searching for new possibilities, but Wildcat software is great so far. Thank you for now. Please like, subscribe, and I'll be back with some other stuff soon. Uh, don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.